boys and girls, welcome back to Dino Tales. I'm Dino Girl, as I'm sure you know by now. And today, we're gonna read a story about, oh, a herbivore. Who's it gonna be? A plant-eating dinosaur called Diplodocus. This story is the Diplodocus and the Dippy Idea. Ooh, I wonder what funny Dippy ideas this Diplodocus has. Surrounded by a couple of other long-necked dinosaurs today, but I wonder if that's who the friend behind the chair is gonna be. Well, first of all, I've gotta look in my blankie bag because it's time to nest up. Get cozy. That's it, boys and girls. I hope you've got some items that you can get cozy with too. Oh, what's in the blankie bag today? Oh, very, very posh. Again, oh, I like that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice, boys and girls? And it's softy pofty. Brilliant thing to find in the banky bag. Oh, and what's this? <gasps> a matchy matchy muffler. Oh, yes. Although I'm not sure how I'm going to read this story. Who knows? Maybe it'll have to go on my lap. But there's something else in here. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. A very regal piece of blanket material. Oh, wow, I think we need to decorate the entire chair. That's it, oh yes, here we go. Ah. Oh, look, oh, see Daisy. It's like a big throne. I'm like the queen. <laughs> okay, so who's the friend behind the chair today? Let's see. Aha, uh -huh. it's Trixie. Trixie the Triceratops. <gasps> Hello, Trixie. Uh, oh, Trixie doesn't have much to say for herself. Do you, do you actually speak? Oh, okay, Trixie doesn't speak. Is it because you're too young? Oh, how many years old are you? I think that means three, three years old. Oh, okay, well, I would have thought you'd be speaking by now, but anyway, why don't you sit down, join Dino Gill on the Dino Tail chair and get ready for me to read a story to you and the boys and girls with my regalness all set and ready. Okay. Well, boys and girls, it's time to join us at the Dino Tail chair, where we're going to read Diplodocus and the Dippy Idea. Come closer. Let's begin. Diplodocus and the Dippy Idea. Who are we going to meet today, boys and girls? Well, there's Dora the Diplodocus, Peggy the Stegosaurus, a few naughty Allosaurus, and also featuring Pete the Plesiosaur. Let's begin. There was once a huge and hungry Diplodocus called Dora. Dora often had lots of dippy ideas and was easily confused. Hmm, my favourite leaves are on that side of the tree, she thought one day. So I'll stand here and twist my neck like this to reach them. <laughs> I 
Bora! You nearly stepped on me! shouted a small Ornitholestes. Head over there, will you? But my head is over there! Dora replied, confused. But before Dora could move away, an old Diplodocus appeared. Shh! There's an Allosaurus about, he hissed. Dora made herself as small as possible and hid behind the nearest tree. She watched as the herd swung their enormous necks and tails at the Allosaurus to scare them off. After the fight, everyone was hungry, but they also wanted to think of new ways to scare off the Allosaurus. The Diplodocus were tired of all the neck swinging and having their meals interrupted. Hmm, we could disguise ourselves as trees, suggested Dora, with leaves on our heads. But no one took Dora seriously, so she wandered off on her own, deeper into the forest. Dora spotted a Stegosaurus, frighting off another Allosaurus. You did it, said Dora, strolling over to the smiling Stegosaurus called Peggy. <sighs> I wish I had amazing armoured plates on my back, Dora sighed. Peggy offered to help Dora make her own armour with mud and palm leaves. This is a great idea, smiled Dora. We'll all look so fierce. No Allosaurus will dare to come near us. But everyone laughed at Dora's idea and went back to eating leaves. Poor Dora felt sad as she wandered down to the rocky shore to wash off her disguise. Never mind, said Peggy. You'll think of something else. Uh, Peggy, whispered Dora, what's that in the water? Dora plunged her head into the water and looked about. Who's in here? She tried to say underwater, but it came out a bit like... Blah, blah, blah. I'm Pete. I'm a plesiosaurus. Are you coming in for a swim? Dora thought for a moment. She wasn't sure Diplodocus could swim. Try it and see, said Pete. So Dora found some reeds. And these will help me breathe, she thought, and dived right in. What a good way to hide, thought Dora. We could all fit down here. And there's food, said Dora, trying a big clump of seaweed. She didn't see the Allosaurus had returned, and she didn't see Peggy trying to warn her. I've got the best idea, said Dora. I think we should... As Dora staggered out of the sea, she fell into a huge puddle of mud. She was covered in thick, drippy black slime. The reeds, leaves and seaweed stuck out at all angles. The Allosaurus had never seen anything so terrifying in all their lives. Hmm. Well done, Dora, said another Diplodocus. Your dippy idea wasn't so silly after all. The end.
Oh, no, it isn't. We're going to tail it again, boys and girls. Time to look at the pictures and have a think about the dinosaurs. So, Diplodocus, one of the most famous of the long-necked, long-tailed sauropod. And Diplodocus wasn't the biggest or the longest, but was still 23 tonnes of weight and 26 metres long. And 14 metres of that was the tail making their tails the longest of all the sauropod long-necked dinosaur family. And there we meet a little Ornitholistes. A funny looking dinosaur with a beak with teeth. And then what happens next, boys and girls? Who comes along? A fearsome group of Allosaurus. So Allosaurus were apex predators when they were around, which was in the Jurassic period. That's the middle period of the dinosaurs. There were three periods, Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous. So when it was Jurassic, the middle one, these dinosaurs were the most feared because they were the apex predator. Nothing ate them, they ate everything else. Top of the pile. But would they have eaten Diplodocus? I don't know about the Diplodocus using their necks to swing and defend themselves, but I reckon they would have used those long, whippy tails. What do you think, boys and girls? Would they have used their long, whippy tails to defend? And here we see Stegosaurus, Peggy the Steggy. <laughs> Peggy the Steggy, I like that. They're suggesting that maybe Peggy used her armour plates that run along their back and they were very big. But actually, I think it's these tail spikes that would have caused the Allosaurus more problems. Tail spikes, known as thagomizers. But maybe they used both to defend themselves. Do you think it was a good idea of Dora's to stick some palm leaves all the way along her back like Stegosaurus? Do you think it would have worked? Hmm. Certainly the other Diplodocus dinosaurs didn't think so, did they? Not very nice to laugh at Dora though, is it? She's trying to come up with a good idea. And then we have another creature that's about to emerge from the water. Can you remember who it was? Well done. It was Pete the Plesiosaurus. Now, Plesiosaurus were marine reptiles they lived at the same time as the dinosaurs, but they weren't actually dinosaurs. They were marine reptiles. And do you think Diplodocus could swim? Well, I think we're fairly sure that they wouldn't have swum, but we do know a dinosaur now that could swim. Do you know which dinosaur has recently been discovered to be able to swim? It's a Spinosaurus. And you'll have to join me for 
the Spinosaurus dino tail to find a, lit a little bit more about Spinosaurus dinosaur, if you're interested in that. And here we have Dora. What she popped into her nose. So it looks a bit silly, doesn't it? But maybe it would work. She's using it to breathe underwater. And she discovers there's food and lots of space under the water. But uh, what was it? What was it, boys and girls, that finally scared those fearsome Allosaurus away? What happened? Can you remember? Ah, she fell into the puddle of mud and came out stuck with reeds and leaves and seaweed. She must have looked an absolute sight. And certainly these Anasaurus didn't like it at all. And finally, Dora's Diplodocus friends and family don't think she's quite so dippy anymore, which is nice. <laughs>